Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and tonight we're going to be doing a night routine inside of a dorm. So first I start by tying up my hair and getting that out of the way so I can be able to get inside the routine. Y'all, this is a new type of style video for me. So if I mess up a little bit on this voiceover, just ignore it because this is my first time doing like this kind of voiceover. So I'm still learning and adjusting to it. This is the Oral-B Clinique brush. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but this is the new two brush I recently just got and I love it. And I got it from Target. Next, I'm going in with my TheraBruv. I'm, the, I'm sure everyone is, you know, familiar with this, but that's the one I use. I use the sparkly kind and I just go in there and get a good rinse after brushing my teeth. Now I'm going to go in with the CeraVe cleanser. This is the one I use. I might be changing my soon because I'm not really seeing any results with it. But it's still a really good cleanser overall. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of cleanser on top of my facial cleansing brush. This brush vibrates and it has different molds so you can really get a deep clean but at this point when I was using it, it wasn't charged so I wasn't able to use the molds but it works just as good. I make sure to scrub really good when I'm cleaning my face to get all the dirt that I have and that's just me being silly but then I just remove it with some warm water and get all the soap off. I hate that the soap gets inside my nose like that aggravates me a lot. Now I'm just going to go right in and start done planning. I apply this oil to my face so the blade can have a smooth and clean glide across my face and get a good shave. I recommend you use some type of oil or, you know, like serum to get you a clean shave when you're done planning. Next, I'm just going to start sliding the blade down at a 45 degree angle. Making sure I'm not applying a too much pressure to the point where I can nick myself or hurt myself. And I just go ahead and shave down and you can see all the hair coming off my face. My face is really hairy so I like when I do this because it gives me a good glow. I make sure to be very gentle and move lightly and go around specific areas, making sure not to make myself. Shaping my eyebrows, not so much because I don't want to mess them up, but I just make sure to get between my eyebrows, get a little bit of the unit down, and clean up around the area. Now I'm about to head into the shower. I place all my hair inside my shower cap and make sure it's getting there good so it won't get wet, and then I'm about to head to the shower. This is just me wiping all the oil off my face. I use a dermaplant and then any of the excess hair before I actually get inside the shower. Because I'm gonna do my skincare routine when I get out of sight of the shower. And I don't want that residue of oil that was on my face on there when I do my skincare routine. When I first hop 
inside the shower, I like to let the water run on me a little bit just to get me prepared to apply my soaps. Now I'm gonna start using my first soap, which is the Dr. Browner's Uncensored Soap. I like to use this on all of my intimate areas to get them a good clean before I go in with my next soap that I'm gonna use. This soap gives me a really good clean and make me feel really squeaky clean before I use my other ones. I'm applying it with my net that I got from Target, this is a foliating net, and I just use it sometimes, I don't use it all the time because it can cause your skin to be sensitive, even though it wears out after a while, but I don't use this every single shower. This is me with all the soap on my face, I don't know how the soap got all the way up there, but it's literally all over my face. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that off. As y'all can see, I left a piece of soap on my face that I probably, I'm probably i probably not gonna get off, so don't mind that. But I go ahead and rinse that off, and then I go on with my scrub of the night. Tonight I'm using the vitamin C scrub by Tree Hut, just to get a good exfoliant. I use it basically on my whole body. I like tree hut scrubs because they give you a really nice glow but they can be harsh so I don't use it all the time but as you can see I have strawberry legs so I do help with the strawberry legs and then you can see the difference here before I put it on oh, put it on but you can see the difference of how dull it was and how shiny the other leg was Then this is the last soap I use. I use the St. Ives Oatmeal Soap. This is really good for me because I do have eczema skin. So when I use this, it gives me a nice moisturizing feel to my body and also gets me clean. And it smells really, really good. Make sure I get my bag by opening up the rag and then scrubbing my bag like that. This feels really good and it gets me really clean back there. Next, I just go ahead and do my legs and stuff. As y'all can see here, I was having some trouble with the camera and the tripod trying to show y'all. But then I just rinse myself off, and as you can see, my skin is glowing. And now we're getting out of the shower to do our eye shower routine. Now we head back into the room. I put back on my robe, and I'm about to moisturize my body with this Moroccan oil body butter. It's my first time using this body butter, but it was really good and thick and it lasted a long time on the skin and it smelled really good. This made my skin feel really soft and moisturized. I love this body butter. I'll link it down below for anyone that wants to purchase it. It gave a really good shine to my legs, as you can see. I love this one. 
Now I'm going to go in with the face care. I'm going to go in with my prescribed tretinoid cream and get that all over the spots that I need to put it in. This works really good as well. Next, I'm gonna go with my Holy Grail Aquaphora. You could use Aquaphora on literally anything. So I go ahead and put this on my face to lock in and seal all the stuff that I'm using on my face. And this lasts throughout the night into the next morning. The next morning, you'll wake up with glowy skin and it'll look so nice. But Aquaphora, I use this on pretty much everything. I put it on my lips also. Next, I want to go on my Pixie eye patches. I just want to do this tonight. This is a little bit extra for me. I don't usually do this, but I just want to use them tonight to give a little extra glow. Next, I'm gonna use my facial roller that I keep in the freezer so it can stay cold just to roll it out and deep up my eyes. You know, just for like spa like experience. I probably should have did this before I applied all my serums, but I still did it. Next, I'm gonna finish with my Laneige lip mask. And then you see my eye patches are slowly falling down my face, but it's okay because the face was still giving. We were glowy, we were ready for bed. So I thank you guys for watching this video and I can't wait to see you guys in my next one. I hope you enjoy. Bye.